the phoniness is rampant because of this right here. This is a money is a big incentive for somebody to lie to you. I try to build my my channel on integrity and honesty. Straight up. A lot of times I feel like I shoot myself in the foot with that. Like if I if I film a fail in the gym, if I didn't lift the weight that I set out to lift, even if it's lifting way more than you could lift, you're gonna look at me and be like, well, you're a failure. Well, I'm supposed to listen to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If, if, if I never lost the weight that I lost, and I was talking about weight loss, nah, people are still listening to that. Statistics from the way I look at it, people listen to what's easy, all right? People listen to what's easy. Nobody wants to cut their calories because they think they're gonna be starving. Yes, you're gonna be starving if you cut your calories wrong. If you just cut them in half, if you're eating 5,000 calories right now and you just go to 2,500, yes, you're gonna be starving. I don't recommend doing it like that. I recommend cutting them a little bit. Do what you can handle. Just like working out, do what you can handle. You haven't been in the gym, or you ain't been in the gym in a long time. You could have been the best in the world. And let's say you quit working out for 10 years. Even though you was the best in the world 10 years ago, we're speaking about today. You have 10 years of slacking. You ain't been working out for whatever reason. Whether you was injured, or whether you just gave up, or whether you just whatever. Now you're good 10 years later, Making a scenario, 10 years later, you're good. It's time for you to go back in the gym. You had a 500 pound, let's just make some astronomical numbers, you know what I'm saying? Numbers that naturals don't usually lift. Um, you had a 500 pound bench press. Wow, that's crazy, right? There's a lot of people that can lift more than that, but those people are all on. Beginners are easy to fool, all right? If you think these people are natural, you fit in that category. I'm sorry to tell you. You need to get out of that category. I need to tell you, I hope it don't offend you, but I need to tell you that you fit in that category so you can get out of that. If you don't realize you're in that category, you're never gonna get out of it until you do. So I'm trying to make you realize it right now. <laughs> right now. You feel me? Hey, you need to get out of the uh -uh stage. You need to get out of the easy to, easy to fool beginner stage, all right? You know, a lot of people be saying things like this. Um, somebody told me this one thing. Um, somebody was like, uh, cause I don't talk in the gym and I'm serious when I work out. Anybody who has muscle, who has built a lot of muscle and a lot of strength, they're serious when they work out. They, they might not be as quiet as me when they work out. They might talk a little bit. They might just, I'm, I'm dead laser focused. All right. My best workout days is when I get very focused. Now there's times where I've competed with other people who have to show, show him, who the business was and, and and that ended up being a better workout even though it was loud and, and you know extrovert type of you know I'm more of an introvert all my fire is inside everybody else fire is on the outside so people if your fire is on the outside you gotta understand because you're not gonna always understand me because we're different all right all right there's a lot of people that think introversion introvert life is cool so they try to make themselves into an introvert no, it's you you is or you ain't. You can't fake the funk, all right? Don't try to be like me. You think it's cool. What they call you, a Sigma male? They call me a No, if you're, whatever. I don't even talk like that. Sigma, alpha, beta, red pill, blue pill. I don't get raised by the internet, all right? The internet don't tell me how to do nothing. I use the internet for a tool. If I need to learn something real quick or if I forgot something, I use it as a tool, but I try to use my own brain power most of the time, you know what I'm saying? I always I always implement this. This is another way to listen. Please, when you watch my videos, also use your own brain power. Don't just run with whatever I say. Most YouTubers ain't gonna tell you that. They gonna tell you this is what it is and this is what it is. No, don't just run with what I, analyze it. Analyze it. Anything you hear, analyze it, all right? And if it don't fit you, then don't do it. You know what I'm saying? If you see me doing a 500 pound deadlift or more, which I ain't done in a while, I don't know what I, like that, that's a perfect example, all right? I ain't even deadlifted in a while. Deadlift was my favorite lift. I'm gonna bring that back. But I'm not going anywhere near how much I was deadlifting at first, when I first start back. 
That's stupid. That's stupid. People that just watching on the internet, it's easy for you to say, just go for it. Because you ain't the one that's going to get hurt. <laughs> you going to see me get hurt, then you're going to be like, oh, he got hurt. On, to, on about my day. <laughs> no. I'm not getting hurt for you. You crazy? What? You're important. Especially if you've been watching this video this long, you're very important to me. I need you. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> if there was no you, there'd be no me. Well, there'd still be a me, but it wouldn't be no internet me. It wouldn't be no YouTube me. All right, so I'm not hurting myself for you though. Ain't nobody that important. I'm about to go in the gym, man. I'm about to get this leg day in. Hopefully, I get some scenes. Um, it is daytime, but I'm thinking about changing my 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 workout days anyways. Cause two o'clock in the morning, man, it could be one person in the gym, and people think I'd be lying, and people think I'd be tripping, and people think that it's not a big deal. Only thing you telling me when you think it ain't a big deal is that you don't lift, all right? No offense. I'm just telling you. This is... <laughs> Yo. Okay. So if you're bench pressing with some heavy weight, the heaviest weight you can, uh, can lift, right? You need to focus. You need to have good form. Because if you're benching right here, you're good. But if you're benching right here, all that pressure and that rotator cuff. That's why a lot of people get injured because they lift wrong. They think it's okay. They never seen anybody get injured. They don't understand. They ain't they ain't been hurt themselves. I've never been injured. But you know, nine years of lifting, sprains and pains come with the game. So there's there's been times where I've been hurt, limping, or arm hurt, back hurt, body hurt, things pain, no pain, no gain, right? Those type of things. And there's th there's times I tweak things, you know, lifting wrong. There's times where you know, before I got my bench press uh, form down packed and I was lifting and I was lifting kind of heavy, there's times where your hand might go like that while you were uh, about to bench. That right there, spraying your dang wrist. You might motorcycle a little bit, not on purpose. That's why you have to focus. That's why, okay, the distractions of other people talking to you, honestly, this is the biggest part that I don't understand. I don't understand how you don't understand that you don't understand. I don't understand it. That's like, okay, let me make a scenario. All right, you never drove a car. You drove a car, I'm pretty sure. I'm just saying, let's say you never did. And if I was to tell you I was to take my car and go full force into a building, what you think gonna happen? But you never drove a car, so you know what I'm saying? The same thing in the gym. You never lifted weights, but if you see the biggest weights in the world, I ain't say I lift the biggest weights in the world. I, I lift way bigger than a beginner. I lift way bigger than people who are my size, mostly. I lift way bigger than some of the people who are double my size. But when you see those big weights, you don't think injury can happen? Even though you haven't lift weights yet, you don't think I've seen it. I've seen people injure themselves to where they will never heal. I ain't trying to fit in that category. This video should be called fit in the category. I don't know. But yeah, man, comment, like, subscribe, share. I think that's all I had to say. Watch my videos with a pen and pad, um, especially my weight loss videos. If you want to watch my best weightlifting videos, um, I'm trying to bring those back, but those videos are still up. I've been on YouTube for three years. So if you're new to the channel, or let's say you've been watching my channel for like a year, if you treat yourself to go and watch my old videos, yeah, straight up, treat yourself to watch my old videos because I'm, I tell people to not be seasonal with their, their fitness, but I'm kind of seasonal with my videos. I'm, I, I teach you as I go. Things change, you know what I'm saying? Like if I'm bulking or if I'm cutting or if I'm uh, maintaining or if I'm, you know, training for strength, if I'm training for aesthetics. If I'm training for aesthetics, I'm not going to be able to lift as much as I can when I'm training for strength. That's two different me's. Straight up, that's two different rep and time fitnesses, bro. It is, sis, whoever's watching me. That's two different me's. If I'm training, if I'm training to lift as much heavy weight as I possibly can, I'm going to use a whole different style than if I'm training just to show off my physique updates. Watch my physique updates. The leanest and the most muscular I look 
I'm actually not as let me put it like this. I ain't, I don't want to do a bunch of editing. I just want to explain it to you. Okay, if you look at my before picture, I'm not even going to put it right here. But if you've seen it, just imagine it or go watch another video of it after you watch this. Because this video about to end right here. Um, my before picture and my after picture. My after picture looks more leaner and more muscular. And this is why I need to make this video. Mass moves mass. My leaner, more muscular picture compared to my heavier picture. Which one do you think I should put it here? I'm not going to edit though. Which one you think lives more, my leaner and more muscular or my heavier picture? My leaner and more muscular, I am a lot less body weight than my heavier picture. Mass moves mass, even if it's body fat. It is, it does. So, with that being said, my heavier picture, I was lifting a lot more weight. Especially on the bench and the squat. Deadlift, maybe around the same. Deadlift doesn't get affected that much by mass moves mass as as bench and deadlift does. I mean bench and squat and, and other lifts. Like some of your lifts might go up, like your body weight lifts. As you get leaner and your body weighs less, especially if you keep your muscle and strength up as much as you possibly can, you will lose some muscle on a cut. I don't care how slow you go. I don't care what technique. You want to main your goal on a cut is to get lean and rip, but your main goal is to make sure you keep your muscle and strength at the same time. And I can't tell you what your goal are. That's my goal. All right, I can't tell you what your personal goal is. All right, maybe you don't care about strength. Maybe you don't care about being muscular. I always tell people though, you do care about being muscular, whether you think so or not. Because when you lose muscle, guess what? your life ain't gonna be the same even if you're not trying to be the biggest muscular person no i'm not saying that. i'm just saying even a woman who wants to be plickety plow instead of blickety plow you still don't want to lose the muscle you have everything's going to be harder your everyday life is going to be harder you're going to be weaker less energy you ain't gonna be able to pick up your kids and it's going to be different your, your job you gotta you know what i'm saying you gotta have what you have to have that physicality that you need that makes sense. Uh, Y'all want to try a new coffee that you might not have heard yet, heard of yet? It's Javi Coffee. Um, if you click my link below, you'll say 15%. But if you just read what I'm scrolling through, you'll definitely want to. In my opinion, um, I love this stuff. You can mix it up however you want. Um, I got recipes on my channel, so go check out. Rapid Time Fitness, um, Javi Coffee, just type it in, you'll see. Rapid Time Fitness Coffee re Recipes. Uh, I like to, myself, I like to make protein, cocoa, um, coffee. I mix it with protein powder, um, almond milk, and water. And, uh, I usually do that on the days I go for a walk, and I do my walk and talk cardios. But yeah, man, give it a try, man. Click the link below, say 15% now. Javi Coffee. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Holla back at your boy. Peace. All right, YouTube, let's talk about it. Um, I just want to tell y'all, advise y'all how to watch my videos. A lot of people watch my videos. Um, I don't get a lot of views, but I'm just saying out of the people who watch, I always feel like I got five people who actually listen. Um, if I get 50 views, I got five people who actually listen. So shout out to the five. If you actually listen, whether I got five people or 10 people, you're in the five. All right. So, uh, just like my top five favorite subscribers, I got like 40 of them, but you know, those people know who those people are. But, uh, you know, one thing I want to tell everybody, including the people who do listen, Please use my videos as a study guide because I don't expect to get anything from just one video. This video, I'm not going to teach you anything about fitness. I'm going to just tell you that real quick. I don't want to lead you on. This video is to teach you how to watch my videos. Um, the longer the video, usually the more information I put on there, like my walk and talk cardios and things like that. Um, I have a 40 minute video I just put out yesterday. That was mostly pretty much a rant. And I put it out. I hope it's not recognized as a re-upload or whatever, but I put it out again now. It's uploading now as I'm making this video, but I just want to explain um, 
what I did with, with that video was I took out the lifting part. So if I said something, if you watched that video and I said something about lifting and you didn't see any lifting, you have to watch the longer video to see the lifting parts. Um, the lifting parts wasn't really, the lifting scenes wasn't really worth putting up. I put them up in a 40 minute video. It's the same video, all right? But I took it out because I was like, that's taken away from the parts that people need to hear. The talking part is the part that people need to hear in that video. It explains exactly to a T what I've been trying to explain about people in the gym that talk. Yes, I made a whole video about that again. I'm trying to stop making videos like that, but it keeps happening. But let me sum it up real quick. I said I wasn't going to teach nothing in this video, but I'm going to teach you real quick what I mean by that. All right. We got a bench. We got a, we got dumbbells. Right? You, you grab these dumbbells. You lay on the bench to the dumbbell press. Right? They made me catch a red light. You grab the bench. I mean, the dumbbells. You lay on the bench. You do dumbbell presses. Which one? Who you think is going to build the most muscle? The person who grabs the dumbbells, lays down, and starts pressing. Or the other person who comes over there and talks stands next to the dumbbell and talks about well oh, i seen this one dude he was benching these and then he was benching like this and he did who's gonna build the muscle this is why people that's what the title of the video was this is why most people will fail most people will fail because of this the lack of effort the lack of doing the the the, the better they sound they think that, that's not what this video was about all right this video was about how to watch my educational videos, all right? I'm trying to get away from that, all right? It's just hard because it chases me. And a lot of people be thinking like, well, you tripping and it's just, no, it's not just me. When you're physically under those weights, have you seen what a 125 pound dumbbell looks like? You might've looked at it, but have you seen it firsthand POV with you laying under it? Meaning you being the one lifting it. Have you seen it? No. If, if you haven't, don't try it. Because if you're a beginner, you do not need to be trying the heaviest dumbbells in the gym. Or the heaviest barbell, heaviest anything. The heaviest kettlebell. You shouldn't be doing the fastest sprints. You shouldn't be doing the longest and hardest cardio. If you're a beginner, you need to be doing beginner things. That's like if you are a kid and you first learn how to ride a bike you need training wheels or a big wheel or things like yes there's kids who just got on regular bikes i've seen it myself my little cousin um years ago i was a teenager he was probably four or five years old he got on a big he used to get on the biggest bikes and we used to all talk about that but i'm um, just saying not everybody's like that that's like one in a billion you know what i'm saying do not even if you can even if you got the strength to lift the heaviest weights as a beginner because there's people who are just strong. They never lift weights in their life. They're just strong. You don't. You still shouldn't because you don't have the proper technique yet. Until you have the proper technique, it does not matter how strong you are. Most people don't get injured just because they're weak. No, they get injured because they have improper technique. It's not weak. It's technique. All right? So, as a beginner, I'm going to keep hammering that word because a lot of beginners get offended by the word beginner. They think you're insulting their intelligence when you call them a beginner. You're a beginner. In reality. If you're going to really get, if you're going to just be the person that's just going to hear the information and you're going to talk and you're going to say no, -uh, -uh, then you're cool. You're safe. You're never going to lift in, in your life anyway. So no offense. I'm just saying you're cool. You're safe. You can say whatever you want, but you're, you're, you could be potentially hurting other people with your misknowledge because people are going to listen to you. People usually listen to the wrong person. I I told this story before, and I don't want to sound offensive, but this is something that really happened, so I'm going to use it as an, as an example of what I'm talking about because it fits the bill, all right? So before I said it, I don't mean no offense. All right, this lady, she was doing her thing. She lost a bunch of weight. Um, she wanted to figure out how to, and she was serious. She wanted to figure out, or at least I thought, well, she was serious, but just in this moment, she got unserious. What somebody else say, like I said, somebody you can be deterring somebody else with what you be saying because you don't have the knowledge to tell them and you telling them if you don't have the knowledge, don't teach. You need to be learning, all right? So the example was this this lady, I ain't gonna say her name, nothing like that. She was doing her thing, she lost a bunch of weight, she still had weight to go, she wanted to learn how to get 
to the next level. She was asking me, so she came to me. Um, I had my headphones on. I was listening to some music or watching something or whatever it was. This is a couple years ago, so I don't remember. But I remember I was watching or listening to something with my headphones on, and I was eating. So since she was somebody who I knew was serious, it didn't matter. I mean, somebody could come. If I know somebody is serious and they're going to listen, they can interrupt me. Somebody that I know ain't gonna listen, leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. If I, I'm not gonna waste my time. If I'm busy, even if I'm busy doing nothing, even if I'm playing PlayStation, I'm serious when I'm playing PlayStation. I wanna win. Leave me alone, all right? So that that's me. I'm just explaining myself, all right? So she came up to me, asked me how to get to the next level. Before I can even get a word out, this other lady, and this is why I mean no disrespect. This other lady, she literally was about 400 pounds. And um, she was literally about 400 pounds. She cut me off. Cut me off. And, and I'm not tooting my horn saying I'm better than somebody because I'm fit and she wasn't. No, it's the fact that I had the knowledge that she did it. She cut me off to tell the other lady what she did or what, what she, this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know, I couldn't get a word in. So what I did was I slunk back and I put my headphones back on. I started back eating and watching whatever I was watching. Because the other lady that asked me in the first place started listening to her instead of listening to me. Which to me doesn't make sense. But at the end of the day, I ain't mad because I can just get back to what I was doing. I feel the way I'm thinking and I'm, no, nah, let me shake that off real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... And she was hitting her with all kind of wrong information. She was hitting her with, you know, the typical stuff, you know, cut out all your carbs, drink two gallons of water a day. Things that people think that you need to do to lose weight. Please. Now, I'm not tooting my own horn. I'm not saying I'm the only person that loses weight. I'm not saying my methods are the only methods. But the my methods, my methods are simple and plain, straight to the point. That's 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 my style. And guess what? Every other style implements these styles too if they work, like keto. Keto doesn't work unless you combine it with the caloric deficit. It's not the keto that made you lose weight. At first it was because of the water weight, just water weight. It doesn't make you lose body fat. You're going to lose water weight. The caloric deficit is what makes you lose body fat. You don't have to cut out your carbs to lose body fat. All right? So... Uh, the water thing. People drink two gallons of water to try to lose weight. Now, if the water is very cold, yes, your body has to heat back up to get to the temperature it wants to get to. And while it's doing that, it's burning calories. So, yes, the water thing works a little. It doesn't work enough. The reward isn't worth the effort. You you you, you struggling to get out all the down all this two gallons of water. It's 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 way more harder than doing what just cutting your calories a little bit the caloric deficit i said i wasn't gonna teach in this video god dang it i'm so good at teaching this stuff man because it's, it's like no the reason why i'm good at it is because it's clockwork i live this all only thing i'm doing is i'm talking about what i do am i the only person that does it no did i make it up no that's the beauty of it though Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. Do what's been proven to work. And if somebody's trying to tell you something, if it's not working, if that person doesn't look the bill, then they ain't the one to be teaching. If somebody... Somebody's trying to teach you how to play basketball and they can't play basketball, even if they do play basketball, if they're losing all the time, they're missing every shot, they suck at playing basketball. You know, I can say they suck at playing basketball. Nobody gets offended by that, but if I say something about weight, everybody gets offended. You know what I'm saying? People pick and choose what's offensive or not. I, I get offended by a lot of things that most people don't think should be offended. <laughs> offensive. Oh, I wouldn't even feel the way about you're different than me. We're two different people, all right? But if somebody doesn't even know how to play basketball, you go take basketball advice from them. So if they don't know how to lose weight, or even like, okay, I'm going to take it even further than that. I'm going to break it down even better than that because a lot of people will say, oh, this guy is lean, this guy is ripped, or this guy. A lot of those people, they just already naturally was like that. A lot of people, a lot of these weight loss um, professionals have never been overweight. 
And a lot of them who have, a lot of them are on drugs to do that. A lot, there's a big incentive for lying on YouTube, all right? People are, so I, I've, I've, I've exposed a few people who, are, they have already been exposed, but I, I pushed their exposure a little better. But uh, there's a lot of people on YouTube who has sold fake products that got called out for it. There's, there's a lot of phoniness. There's a lot of phoniness, all right?